Hello, and welcome back to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. I'm Kelsey, aka The Yellow Button, filling in for your usual Audio Tree host team. Before we get things started, I just wanted to quickly remind you to please subscribe to Audio Tree's YouTube channel. We're always discovering new artists, and we would love to have you tag along. And without further ado, from all the way from Louisiana, we have the eclectic and whimsical folk acoustic artist Odie Lee in studio today. And whenever you're ready, take it away. All right, here we go. He smokes another cigarette. He's got the posture of an honest man. And now he's floating through my city. Got some quarters in his jeans and... He knows he's pretty, he's got the confidence for these type of things Somehow I pulled him from the corner of a bar across the street And while I'm shades of flattered at some good romance and manners Oh, I fear I'm doing better with no hands to comfort me Pretend love shoots and ladders out Pretend love shoots and ladders Till the game stops playing me He smokes another cigarette This time I'm watching from my lover's bed Where I spend a couple evenings Though I never get much sleep And I can't help thinking Is this moving? Too quick, I know I swore I wouldn't stick around for more than just a week. And while I'm sheets of flooded at some bedside table banner, oh, I fear I'm doing better with no hands to comfort me. And I say it doesn't matter, I pretend. One 
one for you If I can't dissolve, I do If I can't dissolve, I do Spare a crumb, I'll take it I said, hold my hand, not break it I'm trying to say this all makes sense Considering that I Giving up again Yes, I Giving up again Cats have nine lives I have three I gave all to you Save none for me It's true It's true Screw the timeline I track was it really me when my bags all packed up first mm -hmm. I guess I giving up again yes I giving up again I guess I Giving up again I guess I Got injured on the single shoots and ladders followed by nine lives here on audio tree live so we're gonna get right into things kind of just talking about those two songs mm -hmm. i feel like they sound just like very warm and fuzzy love songs but when you actually listen to the lyrics they're really sad and they're about just like loss and hard relationships and just like very sad things and listening to all of your music i feel like that's a really hot topic for pretty much all of your songs and i really wanted to hear more about your creative process with writing songs whether it's lyrically instrumentally kind of both and how it like all ties in with each other so the the last ep i put out the only one that i have out right now yeah. it was all the songs were written at the same time so they're all kind of about like the same moment same thing but whenever i write a song it's like it always starts with a feeling. Like I've always just had like too much emotions. My emotions have Same. always like been in the driver's seat, right? And songwriting really became this like safe place for me to put these feelings that were too much. Okay. Like my songs are like these little boxes that I can put a moment into and like safely unpack whenever I want. Okay. If that makes any sense. Yeah, absolutely. So, and a lot of it is more personal to you, or would you say it's more of like storytelling through a third person? Oh, it's always just exactly what's going on. Yes, love I, that. I am not that creative. Unfortunately, all my songs are exactly what is happening in my life at the moment. Okay, perfect. Which 
is kind of horrible, but you know, it is what it is. Are you doing okay now? Are we good? I'm doing really good. good. Yeah, things are great. It's good. great. Happy songs recently. Yeah. Love to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I do like all of your songs have such a warm and fuzzy feeling like I mentioned earlier. And do you think that's kind of like, I can't think of the right word, but just like kind of, you have really sad lyrics, but really warm sounding instrumentals. Mm -hmm. Is that intentional or do you want it just to feel more of like a love song rather than, oh, I'm so sad, kind of? I don't know. I think that honestly, whenever I started making music, I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. Like I'm completely (laughs) self-taught. This was all just a big accident, right? And I think that my limitations have kind of helped that happen in a way. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't know enough about music to be like, I'm going to make a sad song. So it's going to sound like this, right? It's just kind of, I pick up the guitar and whatever, whatever happens, happens. And I just kind of go with it. Okay. I love that. Do you have any artists that are really inspirational for your own music? Um... Connie Converse. Oh my God. Love Connie Converse. Me too. Yeah. Her music was really like the catalyst to me, if that's the right word. Hi, camera. (laughs) It's really like the thing that got me to think I can write my own music. Because I went to a a college that had a huge music industry program. And so I was constantly around all of these like extremely knowledgeable, skilled, like trained musicians. And so I never felt like that could be me because I didn't have the knowledge. But then whenever I listened to Connie Converse's music, like the song structure is so different and it's so odd and it's so cool. And I was like, you know what? Like I, I can try, like I can do this. I want to try to do something. And then that's just kind of how it started. Cool. And you did say that you're self-taught. How long have you been just like playing? So whenever I was 13, like I taught myself to play like um, the most basic chords. Yeah. (laughs) And then I got into wearing fake nails. And so then I stopped playing guitar until the pandemic. I like picked it back up. Okay. And it's just been that ever since. Love that. Cool. Well, whenever you're ready, you can feel free to move into your next song. All right. So this is, um, should I say the names? Sure. Okay. So this is my song, um, Double Shift. And then as sure as I'm speaking, so. I don't think your girlfriend gets off. I think she's lying to you. Every night when you come home after you've lied to her about lying with me And I don't mean to insult you, but you got a lot of nerve Coming over to my place and saying that I'm like no one you ever met before And it's a bad thing Tell myself each time Maybe you've changed, maybe you've changed, maybe you've changed And every single time Every single time you never change I don't think your girlfriend gets off I think she's tired of you Coming home late every night after you've worked your double shift involving me And I don't jump to conclusions much, but too much time has passed For me to think that I Job, same- 
same friends who knew too late Same getting so involved and then taking it away Same eyes, same breath, new skin, new age Same I'm not gonna do it and then do it anyway Same drugs, same script, same sex, same shame Same shit my mother did when I was in the seventh grade Oh, don't you think by now Maybe one of us would change, oh, don't you think by now? Maybe one of us would change, oh, don't you think by now? Maybe one of us would change. Maybe one of us should change. Cause I don't think your girlfriend gets off. Audio Tree Live. So I have a big question for you. I hope you're prepared. I'm ready. Cool. Okay, so from my perspective, back in like 2020, 2021, I discovered you on TikTok, and it was Ronnie's song. I remember that was like your first big song, and then it feels like it happened so fast where that thing just like blew up, Mm -hmm. and you gained so much traction, just so much followers just from posting videos of you playing your music. And since then, Coming like three years later, you have a full U.S. tour with sold out shows. You have tons of great songs on streaming platforms with millions of listens, which blows my mind. (laughs) And you're just like releasing so much good music. And I wanted to see 
how big of a jump it's been from just playing little songs on TikTok to doing all this crazy stuff now. Three years later, it's just so fast. <laughs> it's been crazy. But at the same time, so I don't know if you know this, but the reason I started posting my songs on TikTok was because I was living with these two like <coughs> dudes. <laughs> And they were having a competition to see who could blow up on TikTok first. No and they way. didn't include me in the competition. And so I was like, well. Look at you. So yeah, I posted a song and it was like the first song I ever posted. And it got like 50,000 views. And then I yeah. posted another song and it was Ronnie's song, mm -hmm. which has, I mean, kind of. Millions. Yeah, changed my <laughs> life. Yeah. Um, and... In a way, this was never what I expected to do. Like, I have a degree in filmmaking. I was just going to work on sets for the rest of my life until I died. And um, so the shock happened then. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's been crazy since because I thought this would never happen. Yeah. So in a way, it's kind of been, even though it happened quickly, like, I was already in shock at the fact that it was happening in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. It's felt like a kind of like gradual incline. I know that it's happened quickly, but like I played my first show in June mm -hmm. of last year and it's just felt like how it's supposed to, you know? Yeah. I feel very lucky that it's just me. So like I'm not mm -hmm. like dragging anyone else <laughs> into this. Like it's like I can take the time I need or I can go as quickly as I want. Yeah. And I like to rush. Cool. Yeah. And is this like a dream that you've always had? Like, I know you just said you went to school for filmmaking, but is this like, I'm so excited. This is my dream. I'm pa my passion. Anything like that? I mean, it is a dream. Yeah. For sure. But again, this was like never in the cards for me. Mm -hmm. Never did I expect to be a musician. Yeah. Um, I'm so grateful and happy that I am because it just feels so right. Yeah. Like, I'm all just about, like, connecting with people. All I've ever wanted to do was tell stories. Absolutely. Like, growing up, my family is big storytelling. Like, my grandparents would always do skits before dinner. Like, mm -hmm. it's just part of my life. And so it just felt like I found the thing. I was like, oh, okay, this works. I'll do it this way. Yeah. Like, I'm not making a movie. I'm not taking a picture. I'm not, like, writing a book. I'm singing songs about my secrets. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. And do you yeah. think TikTok really helped you along with this journey? Like also making a ton of new songs? Cause mm -hmm. I remember back when I found you, it was just like, you had so many songs and you were just always playing new songs. I'm like, Oh my God, she has so much music. Do you think it kind of like pushed you to make more music down the line? Yes. Yeah. At the time, whenever I first started posting, I was writing a song a day to post on oh TikTok. My God. <laughs> I had no music. Yeah. Like, Ronnie's song was one of the first songs I ever wrote. Okay. Like, it just happened so quickly. Mm -hmm. So if you like listen to all of my music, you can very much hear me learning to play the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and like you can hear me learning to write a song. And I think that that's really cool. I used to be embarrassed about it. But yeah, if you scroll down to the bottom of my TikTok, like you're going to see some weird stuff. Yep. <laughs> like it's just me learning to be a musician. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah. you did it. I'm so proud of you. It's been really cool to just watch oh. you grow from three years ago now. We're both here, so I it's kind of cool. I'm so proud. It's amazing. I cannot believe you found me back then. That's I, insane. I can't either. And we're here now, which even blows my mind even more. So I'm so proud. Aw, thank you. Of course. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, whenever you're ready to go on your last song, feel free. All right. So this is Crop Circles. And this is the song that I feel like really changed my life. Definitely. Which is cool. Anyways.
these words of mine I've said before I'm running out of things to say Silence I can't endure Every time I think I'm done But yet another crop of memories It springs up in my head And I, I don't think I've changed No, and I'm too scared to stay the same so my carpet's got crop circles My carpet's got crop circles These days Ooh. And I, I don't think I've changed No It's got crop circles My carpet's got crop circles These days Here I am I'm crying out for change Here I am That was Audio Tree Live with Odie Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank y'all for having me. This oh, has been so cool. Cool. Yeah. Make sure to follow her on all of her social media and listen to her music at Odie Lee. And the session you just heard is available on all your favorite streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple, Bandcamp, wherever you like to listen to your music. And lastly, I want to thank the video crew, the audio team, and just everyone in studio today, as well as you watching. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?